Hey, and welcome to Fan Favorite, where I played the most obscure games from your childhood. Either that or just random games you like. Uh, it doesn't matter really, I think I have to work on that. Uh, this is gonna be a different type of video, I'm not gonna go fully into every single game, but I'm gonna play three games you guys want me to and I'll give you my first thoughts on it. If I like it or if people like it, I might make a full review on it, but I wanna give everyone's childhood a chance here. As you probably know, I'm working on getting a new controller, so only PC games for this video. Also, there are games that I wanted to try that are both on the PS1 and on the PC. But I ended up skipping like Death Trap Dungeon and MDK, which in this case the controllers are just horrendous on the PC, so... And by horrendous I mean like Death Trap Dungeon uses Enter to jump, the arrows to move and Z to run. Or like Hogs of War that only gave me a blue screen every single time I try to play it. But I will play them, I'll just need a controller first. Starting from our first game, the one I was most afraid of, Just Jack Rabbit 2. Now listen to me for a second, I wasn't around when this game came out and this game wasn't popular where I live. I know this game is extremely popular, but I honestly don't know and don't claim to know what it meant for PC gaming. These are just my thoughts on the game and you're free to disagree and actually correct me in the comments if you want. First thing you see is actually a pretty good animation that really looks like those ones you'd see on Newgrounds and an incredibly unexpected jamming song. The music was the best part of this game for me, from what I played all of the songs were very good. And with that being said, I am sorry to whoever I'm offending right now, but the gameplay is not good. And you cannot convince me that this is good level design. The game feels extremely basic and it even reminds me a lot of the first game I made on Game Maker. Of course that was in the 2010s, but I don't think the gameplay holds up very well. Also, I think it's kinda weird that breaking boxes works as switches. I felt like that guy playing Cuphead because I didn't know I had to break the box to open this wall. And I actually didn't even know you had a downwards attack, so I kept shooting it and nothing happened. Oh well. I also feel like the graphics are a mixed bag. While I find the drawings and sprites really cool, the levels just feel like they did something like this. And then it's just a copy and paste for the entire level. I, I don't know, it just didn't stick to me. Besides this one that looks like Wonderland from Alice or something, and you get high from the smoke from this guy. Yeah, but I believe this game is a product of its time and it reminds me of another game I used to play called Claw. Which is weird to me because, at least in my opinion, it looks way better but nobody seems to ever talk about that one. But anyway, so next game. Alien Shooter, another PC classic that I've never played in my life. I actually found it pretty funny how close the menu in this game is when compared to one of my favorites. Raybone 6 Rook Spear. Uh, yeah, it has nothing to do with this game. But anyway, at first you get a buy menu where you can get different weapons, but since you only start with 20 bucks, it's more like teasing. Oh, and I like the name of the first mission too. My first reaction to this game was how the hell is this guy doing this? But the first part is more like a tutorial for people like me who never played this game. It has nothing going on, but you can at least get used to the controls. You know when you play a game too much and you have to play levels like this, and you're like, who's the idiot that needs this? After you get into the facility, you get a quick overview of the place before you turn the lights on. And this is where the game starts and oh wow! The music in this game is pretty impressive, which seems to be a recurring theme for old games now. I did have to turn down the sound effects a bit because I was tired of hearing this. 
But after that, I actually had a lot of fun with this one. Don't get me wrong, it's a pretty basic game. You enter a level, you shoot your way through, buy weapons and repeat. But just doing that is pretty damn fun. Especially when you see a giant horde of aliens after you. Talking about the aliens... The AI isn't exactly smart. If they're more than 5 feet away, they just try to run into a wall to get you. But I guess having all of them rush at you at once would make the game impossible to play. Did I tell you about the music though? Oh, it's so good. Conflict Vietnam, I remember playing this game in my PS2 when I was younger. And this one showed me how hard it is to get old games working correctly on a PC. I couldn't make it run at the right resolution, my mouse felt like it was having a stroke and the sensitivity was all screwed up. But I found some fixes online and it worked. Mostly. The story is as basic as it gets. You're going to Vietnam with your squad and that's basically it. The cutscenes are a little bit janky but I guess they looked fine on the PS2. But the characters sometimes look extremely animated and their mouths don't match what they're saying at all. I gotta say though, they nailed the 60s and 70s atmosphere you see in the movies. Vietnam movies, of course. I don't remember if this was on the PS2 version, but I was actually impressed by how alive the world feels in this game. Everywhere you go, there's people talking about random stuff, and they actually interact back with you. I still have this shit. No bodies, nothing. Then some FN... Look, can't you see we're talking here? Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah. Oh man, it was bad. You help around the camp with random stuff while getting your own stuff, and then you are presented to one of the jankiest controls I've ever touched in my life. You press spacebar to aim, shift to zoom, and the right mouse click is to give commands to your squad. So already, just so you know, if this ends up becoming a full video, I'll play the PS2 version. After a quick tutorial on how to command your squad and change between them, you fight against an invasion and go to your first mission which is to clear a village ahead. I thought maybe I'd get used to the controls in this game, but it's just not possible. They are bearable at best. If you're not aiming, it feels like it has some type of mouse moving that makes it almost impossible to aim in third person. Oh, and the game starts with going up the country and painted black, so yeah, great soundtrack. I feel like this game has great things going for it, but at least on PC, the controls can be a deal breaker for a lot of people. I still like it though. But yeah, these were your picks. Thanks to everyone who requested a game. If your game isn't here, do not worry. I will go back to that post and get more games to play. There were some pretty interesting games I really wanted to try, but simply couldn't for a reason or another. But I will go back to them. Oh, and again. Thank you everyone for the support. At the time I'm making this video, we're almost at 7,000 subs, it's simply insane. So really, thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And thank you so much for the people that actually became members of the channel. Kurikun, Keniwa, Rafael, Ingo, James, Spinning Doggo, Newbie Paradise, Costa Jin, Warrior, Alu, Trax, ZS, I, Cleo, The Spiv, and She Wolf. You guys have no idea how much that helps me out, so thank you really. Oh, and also, depending on how things go by the end of the year, I might start making two videos a week, but we'll see about that. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you like the content, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. What?